Hi, I'm Jessica Beck from IELTS Energy TV and the podcast IELTS Energy. Now with over 250 episodes. <laughs> It's amazing. All right, so today uh, I wanted to focus on vocabulary about music because I'm excited I get to see a live show tonight. Somebody you've probably never heard of. His name is Iggy Pop and he is a rock legend and an icon of classic rock and punk rock. So I am going to be teaching you vocabulary that I use when I discuss music because I love music. And this is vocabulary that native speakers use when discussing this topic and probably vocabulary that other students don't know. In fact, I've even seen questions in speaking part one about music and they are simple questions to me, to my mind, but to students, they don't even know this vocabulary, like live show, live concert. So guys, please take notes today. Write down these words. They are very specific for this topic and this topic does come up on the speaking exam, on the writing exam, listening exam, reading exam. I have seen music all over the place on the IELTS test, all right? So this vocabulary is important. Plus, it is fun. I want to teach you a little bit about music today and maybe give you something fun to study. All right, so I am going to be glancing down at my notes periodically because I want to make sure I teach you all the important words. First, uh, and this is a word that I mentioned in the video about books and stories, um, genre. So genre is the type of music. I'm going to be getting into genre, specific genres in a moment, okay? Let's go over the vocabulary first. So genre, then album. This isn't something that people talk about a lot because people just download singles, yeah? Singles are just one song. People just download singles. but. Artists do still come out with complete albums, anywhere from 10 to 16 songs usually. That is an album. You can also say a record, all right? Um, old school records were on vinyl. You can still go to record shops today and search through the vinyl, something that's a really fun hobby for a lot of people, a lot of my friends. Another vocab word, gig, all right? If someone has a gig, it means they have a paying show, like somebody's gonna pay them to play music, so that's a gig. You can also say, I'm going to my friend's gig tonight, all right, or I'm going to this, this folk rock gig tonight, okay? It's the, it's the same as show, okay, where someone gets paid to perform music. Um, one reason I'm so excited about tonight is I haven't been to a live show or a live gig in a long time, too long, and the energy you get from a live show is incredible. You can't find it anywhere else. So live gig, live show, live concert, all of those things mean the same thing. Gig and show are, are usually in smaller venues, okay? A venue is the place where you watch the music. So shows and gigs are in smaller venues than concerts. Concerts are sometimes in huge venues like stadiums. All right, um, if you want to describe a song that uh, gets stuck in your head, okay, you could say it's catchy, like it catches your attention, you notice it, all right, so the song is catchy, something about it makes you notice it. Um, and this can be annoying sometimes, a song gets stuck in your head, okay. I hate it when um, commercial jingles, a jingle is the song in an advertisement. I hate it when advertising jingles get stuck in my head and sometimes all day just running through, running around my head, da 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 da, I'm loving it, or whatever jingle gets stuck in your head, okay? You can also call that an earworm. I don't use that term, but other native speakers do. So guys, I'm going through lots of vocabulary pretty quickly. I really hope you're pausing and taking notes on this stuff, <gasps> please. All right, let's continue. Um, okay, let's get into the genres. This is the very specific vocabulary that is interesting, that will help you impress the examiner, help you stand out from other students, 
and help you develop this culture of thinking about the culture that you are studying for. Okay, this is important stuff, you guys. Okay, first term, jam band. So jam is when um, musicians play together without following a very specific plan. Like they can kind of play what they want sometimes. And sometimes the songs are very long. If you would like to know um, more about jam bands, please Google The Grateful Dead. All right, they are the most classic jam band example. Um, okay, continuing from there, classic rock. No, okay, this is important, classic, it's not classical. Classical music is like Brahms, Beethoven, Mozart. That's classical, different. Classic rock is rock and roll from the 60s and the 70s. Those are, I love that music, guys. So. Best examples that I want you guys to research and listen to of classic rock, Led Zeppelin. Find it, listen to it, understand what classic rock means and I hope you like it. Then you could learn the lyrics. Lyrics are the, the words to the song. You can learn the lyrics, great way of getting vocabulary. Um, I also uh, want you to listen to Led Zeppelin because the vocalist, okay, that's the singer. Instead of saying singer, say the vocalist. The vocalist is one of the best vocalists of all time. All right, so Led Zeppelin. Um, hip hop, I know a lot of younger people from other countries are into hip hop these days, guys. Let me give you a better example than this, maybe the stuff you are listening to. Um, a little bit older, but they still make music, Tribe Called Quest. So just a little bit to open your mind. Uh, soul, soul music. Um, also music from the 60s and 70s. Best example, Al Green. Um, electronica, electronica is like dance music, okay? Techno, mm, but we say electronica. My favorite electronica is house music and drum and bass, all right? So again, I'm giving you hopefully lots of new information. I really hope you research some of this stuff. Um, it will improve your testing skills and your vocabulary. The more you read, the more you know, the better prepared you are, all right? Uh, punk music. I also used to be a big punk rock fan. Um, look up the Ramones, all right? Um, bluegrass. I can almost promise that you've never heard of bluegrass. Uh, best example of bluegrass you could look up is Earl Scruggs. All right, I'm also get, getting into bluegrass these days. Wasn't always into bluegrass, but I really love it as background music. Um, jazz. There's... <laughs> There are a billion different kinds of jazz. My favorite jazz musician is Brad Maldow. Um, he does some like more contemporary stuff with even some rock songs that he interprets. So very interesting music, very impressive to the examiner if you can discuss that. Last example, I know this is a long video for us at IELTS Energy TV. Last example, my favorite genre, grunge. Grunge music is rock music from the Seattle area in the early 1990s. Best examples, Pearl Jam and Soundgarden. All right, you can see I love music, all genres of music. I really hope I'm inspiring you to get a little bit more into the culture of which you are studying the language. So if you wanna get into our IELTS course, guaranteed to increase your score, please visit ielts.allearsenglish.com. Get into our course today. All right, thanks for sticking with me in this long music video. Have a wonderful day.